Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are all doing super well. Excuse my lounge attire today. I just, I wanted to be in my comfortable clothes. I haven't like just stayed in comfortable clothes for like over a week now and I just wanted to chill today. Um, I did put a bit of makeup on, obviously did my liner and my lips and my brows. Um, but besides that, I'm just, this is gonna be a chill video. Um, I've also just like, I don't know if it's better without this. Like, do we not need this and keep it totally plain? Um, I do have, um, throughout the video I am like gonna be putting up something on the screen but I'm just like worried when there's nothing on the screen it's gonna be freaking boring. It's really pretty on this side. This is so much pretty on this side. What I did, I'm really lazy guys. I just like, it's like still tied up in the middle. I didn't like rearrange when I get home. I just like <laughs> kept it in its like elastic band and just like plopped it in here. Maybe I'll leave it like this cause this is pretty, this side is prettier with the flowers. But I, anyway, like I said, I, I'm gonna have something on the screen anyway. So I knew this week's video, I definitely wanted to talk about my fashion week or London fashion week outfits. Um, it just ended like two, three days ago. And well, basically I didn't begin with wanting to do this, but I ended up realizing halfway through that I was using mini bags every day. So I was like, oh my God, I should just use mini bags for the full fashion week and then I can share my thoughts on these bags. Um, I have them here with me anyway, as well as a new Fendi reveal, which I will share uh, throughout this video as well. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, which is that one on Stokes, I would have shared it or you would have seen it already because I shared it. But um, this is just gonna be a chatty, kind of London Fashion Week outfits and mini bags kind of video. Hope you guys are okay with that. Three things before I start this video. One, excuse my ratchet nails. Nails is like, uh, this is actually my least favorite thing to take care of. I, I hate doing my nails, I hate my nails. I'm just like not a nail person. Second thing is if I keep looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. Um, I, I have my the footage on my phone of my outfit so I can kind of talk along the footage so it makes sense when I have it on the screen. Um, goodness, I'm gonna like keep knocking this flower now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and third, um, of course, you guys know this already, but I am not sponsored by anything. So all my Fashion Week outfits, um, I purchased myself. Um, they're all my own. And yeah, nothing was gifted, given, or lent to me. I'm not even sure why I needed to say that. Um, I'm sure you guys know, especially with my following, obviously I'm not getting sponsored by any of these brands, but um, I just wanted to make that clear. But anyways, let's just get right into it. So on the first day of London Fashion Week, I wore a gorgeous Ghani dress, which I actually hauled in my previous video. Um, actually, this entire outfit I hauled in my previous video, except the sunglasses. But um, I just love the balloon sleeves on this dress. Um, so like I said, I didn't begin Fashion Week thinking I would be using mini bags the entire time, but uh, so on the first day, it was just a coincidence. I actually based the outfit around the shoes. I knew I wanted to wear my Chanel boots uh, before the weather takes a turn and it gets cold and rainy and then I can't wear the shoes anymore. Um, I do want to keep, I, mean, I don't know, these Chanel shoes just look, or boots look so good crisp. I usually don't mind my shoes being a little worn, a little something, but white shoes, man, like they're just not easy. Um, <laughs> but I love them regardless. And again, I got so many compliments when I wore those boots. So as I said, I um, built the outfit around the boots and I knew I wanted to wear a dress with it. And I thought this Ghani dress would be perfect because um, it's not too simple that the whole outfit is focused on the Chanel boots. I think that the brush strokes on the, um, and the color, the vibrant color of the dress kind of balances out the attention. Um, because there is just a massive Chanel, Chanel <laughs> on the boots. So um, I wanted to balance that out. And then for accessories, I use my little Bottega bag. I got this off of eBay. I shared this in my last haul video as well. And I absolutely love this bag so, so, so much. I got so many compliments um, with this bag, especially because the Bottega pouch, which I like to call the dumpling, because it looks like dumpling. I'll show you a picture of a dumpling, uh, uh, um, a suede jiao, it looks like a suede jiao. But anyways, um, that bag is super popular. I totally understand why it's gorgeous and I will want one. I do want one, but 
This one is just so cute. Like I said in my previous video, I bought this one because this is the style of bag that my mom had. She had the bigger version, obviously in black. I like mini. I like it in the mini size. I think it's cuter. I actually walked into, I actually went to Fendi to pick something up on the same day, obviously using this bag. And the manager in there, she told me she used to work at Bottega and she loved this bag. She complimented me on it and she absolutely loved it. And yeah, um, she said that this, this is, I think this style is called the hobo style bag. She said they haven't made this bag um, in this size in such a long time, which I'm like, I think is such a pity because I think this is such an adorable size for this bag. I do have to say out of all the mini bags, this one obviously you'll see later is the biggest mini bag and it probably fits the most. However, it actually doesn't fit as much as you would think in this. It does seem quite spacious and it will fit my phone, but like it'll fit my little card holder Chanel kind of um, wallet and then it'll hold my essentials but it does fill up really really quickly like I said it still fits more than the other minis but just not as much as you think um, from just the looks of it so back to the outfit um, I decided to use this Bottega bag because it's white and it went well with the boots um, there's a lot of statement going on with the dress and the boots already so I want to keep the bag quite simple and yeah just like that it matched the boots basically and then of course the sunglasses are blue, gradient, and they're from Louis Vuitton and I love them. I've shared that also in my previous video. Um, there's really beautiful um, flower cutouts on it. On day two of London Fashion Week, I am again wearing something I hauled in my previous video. It is a gorgeous green 16 Arlington uh, top uh, with these gorgeous green feathers um, by kind of the midriff area. And I absolutely loved wearing that top. I paired it with the lace shorts um, that I styled it with in the video, in my previous video, and I put over a Balenciaga. Um, well, I thought it would be cold that day, which it ended up being super warm. I did not need the jacket, but I think it added to the look. So I put on this um, Balenciaga hourglass jacket. You can't really tell that it's hourglass um, in this footage. Um, maybe I can find a photo, but. It's definitely got that hourglass kind of figure to it. And of course, I matched it with my li little um, black mini, uh, what is this called? Holly Ann Ray, I think that's her name. She actually met messaged, my, uh, messaged me on my previous video about this and told me the actual name of this uh, because online it just said it's like the mini clutch on chain or something like that. But actually it's called the mini the mini trendy clutch on train clutch on train oh my gosh i'm getting tongue twisted the mini trendy clutch on chain i think it's called i have to double check but i um wore this on the second day and this again was a coincidence that i wanted to use a mini bag um after this day i knew i was going to use mini bags for the rest of the <laughs> for the rest of fashion week because i it was only fitting but i use this bag a lot um, which is so random to me because I hate having thing carrying things in my hand and when I use this bag I have to carry my phone in my hand um, on top of that like I just really didn't think this would fit everything that I need on a daily basis. Um, I will have to say I don't use this when I need my portable charger so when I'm like out all day this is more of like an errand running day um, for fashion week I had a couple of shows so I didn't you know I wasn't I didn't need my battery pack I didn't think so it was fine I wore my nude Louis Vuitton boots because um, I want to elongate my legs a bit more the biker shorts made me look a little bit shorter so I elongated myself with the boots so obviously I wanted the entire focus to be on my, the, my feather top so I kept my bag pretty simple with this one it matched my biker shorts with a bit of lace so it was like a little bit of like something on each item but still the main focus is on the the top um, the black bag kind of got a little bit lost amongst the feathers but I love that the gold hardware kind of shine through it matches my um, earrings that I was wearing I was wearing my butterfly Gucci earrings which I absolutely loved with the outfit um, I think it looked really gorgeous with the marble print um, on my top so on day three of London Fashion Week, this was a Sunday, I wore one of my most favorite, favorite dresses that I own. I absolutely adore this dress. I've had it for about four, four to five years now, and it is a dress by Loewe. Um, oh my God, it's the most stunning metallic green I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, it's so stunning. And obviously by, the, by 
by Sunday, I was like sticking to the mini bag trend, right? So I was, so obviously I knew I wanted to use my Giacomo's uh, Le Chiquito bag and I was looking in my closet to see what would work with this bag and typically I like to style greens with purples and stuff. Um, I love that combination, but I thought that it would look good with the um, kind of pop of neon orange. It's not really neon, but it's a bright orange. I think it'd be cute with the on top of the metallic green so i did that and then um which i really really do like and then as you can see i'm wearing my very very comfortable stuart white weitzman shoes um as i said i wanted to be super comfortable that day and obviously because i had the metallic green and the orange i um wanted to make sure my shoes are really simple neutral or just black something that won't take too much attention and the sunglasses i am wearing I actually borrowed them. They are not mine. They are Kyle's. I borrowed them. And they are by a brand called, oh goodness, I'm just gonna show you their Instagram page. Focus, focus, focus. Is it focus? Okay, there we go. Um, that's their Instagram page. Blyzak, I think that's what it's called. Um, but they do some really uh, cool sunglasses. They are a friend of Kyle's. So I borrowed those white sunglasses um, just because I felt like it. Um, yeah, you can tell in the clips, I'm just honestly so comfortable. I'm like frolicking in the dress. Um, the dress is just super forgiving. It doesn't, it's not hugging you anywhere. I mean, it has a bit of elastic bit here, but you don't have to suck in your belly. Also, my shoes are so comfortable. It was like one of my favorite outfits that I wore. It's so nice. Also, I, I always say this, I'm really, really bad at makeup. I really am. But that day, I was just like kind of proud of it. I mean, from the photos that I took, I thought that um, my, my makeup looked really, really good. Also, the reflectiveness of the dress, like just like brightened up my complexion. Like not brighten it as in like lighten it up, just like kind of made me look glowy, which I really, really liked. So what a gorgeous dress. My next outfit was a Fendi outfit. And um, I actually love this outfit so much. I was like, I look like candy, I look like sherbet. I had a lot of fun with this outfit. The pants, I had a totally different pair of pants and I'll pop the pants that I was gonna wear and put a picture of it. I, I've worn it before, but I was gonna wear those pants with it because I wanted to like the main focus to be at the top, you know, whatever, you know, like I like to have like focuses and then just kind of tone down somewhere else. But um, I did not like how those pants looked with the top. Everything was too loose on me and it just looked really like it didn't give me any shape at all, especially because the top is so loose and I'm just like so incredibly fat chested anyway. So it's kind of like it just made me look really unproportioned. So I changed the pants into these crazy, crazy, really fun single pants. They were a collaboration with Miranda, I think her name is. She is, um, I follow her on Instagram. I absolutely love her. She's a gorgeous Spanish girl that has the most amazing, colorful style as well. I love, love, love her style. So she did a collaboration with a single and um, they're the um, this pair of pants and a jacket are the only two things ever bought from that brand. Um, but these pants are incredible and they just fit so nicely. Um, they fit me like a glove and I just love how it completely made this outfit, like I said, into like a sherbet candy kind of outfit. I think it, uh, the colors worked really well with my pink Fendi top. Um, at first I was kind of worried about the over load on the Fendi labels uh, because obviously my top completely is uh, has Fendi logo all over it as well as my headband. I wore my uh, Fendi headband that I got not too long ago. I absolutely loved the uh, brown and the pink together. And then the Fendi reveal is the tiny bag that I'm wearing in this outfit. Guys, it's so cute. This is so it's so adorable. I absolutely love this tiny, itty, bitty, teeny, teeny little baguette. It's so cute. So it actually probably is a keychain um, because of the hook, obviously. Um, but I probably won't really use this as a keychain. Maybe like, I don't know, to decorate a bag or something, sure. But um, I bought it because it had this chain so you can wear it cross body. I absolutely adore this little guy. This comes in three different sizes. This is the, obviously the smallest size. And then there's the normal like mini baguette size. Um, and then obviously the, nor the, the big normal baguette size. So initially I was sent a picture of the biggest version of this bag, um, the purple sequined baguette um, when it first came out. And I, from my gorgeous, amazing sales associate Cheryl, who I always talk about, if you guys are ever at New Bond, 
um, Fendi. You guys should definitely, definitely ask for Cheryl. But, um, so she sent me that bag and I immediately lo uh, loved it because it reminded me of Sex and the City. Um, especially that scene where Jessica, uh, Sarah Jessica Parker was holding on to her bag and she was getting robbed and the rob was like, give me that bag. And she's like, it's a baguette. <laughs> it's like, obviously that's like the scene basically where the Fendi bag was, this bag was seen. Not this one, like the bigger version of it. So I already knew I loved it. So I thought about it, but I was like, this purple sequence is just like so tacky. And the bag is so big. Like, I don't think I would ever, ever use that bag. It's just, it's it's, it's a bit too tight. I love the purple though. If it was just like a plain, not even, I don't think I would like it if it's plain purple. I'm, I don't know, I'm very like annoying like that. I, I just, I know what I like. Anyways, I decided to put it on the side burner and was like, let me think about it. And then I saw that they had it in the mini size and I was like, ooh, that is like, I, I'm down for that. So I was, I was gonna get that one initially, but then Alex from HRH Collection, she posted a picture of this Asian girl wearing this little mini tiny 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 version of it and i had never seen it in this size before and when i saw it i immediately fell in love i was like what is that that is adorable i need it and so um when i popped into fenny i picked this up i just think it's so adorable and now i just love it because i have like every single size of the fenny baguette i have this teeny I have the, the teeniest one to the big one and i don't know it's so cute Especially with the sequins, I think it's so adorable. And my favorite thing about the sequins is that they're like different shapes. So most of them are like square sequins, as you can see here. But there are some like round... Oh gosh, sorry, my nails, guys. I'm trying to find like which nail looks better. But um, there are some like rounded sequins there. And then um, some like rectangular ones. And I think that's so, so, so cool. I think it makes this bag so much more... Or not a bag, this keychain much more unique and interesting and not just like a boring old sequin bag um i actually don't know that the if the mini and the large also have all these like different types of sequ or different shape sequins i didn't look carefully anyways this bag doesn't fit very much as you can tell this bag probably fits the least out of all the mini bags i'm sharing in this video it however does fit cards um not like not even not like a card holder though just the cards um, so what I fit in here was my cards and my keys and that was it. Oh, and my earphones. I think that was it. So, um, yeah, this won't fit very much. Like I said, this is probably supposed to be more like a keychain. I also love the back here. It has these buckles so you can actually just buckle this onto a belt. So it's kind of like a belt bag as well. Um, that's another really, really adorable detail about this bag but I absolutely love it and before I move on actually okay so my camera overheated so it randomly shut down but I was just about to share this gorgeous gift that I was given when I was picking up my little um baguette and ooh, flowers getting caught on it look how cute I mean you guys are like what the heck oh actually maybe is this the right way around this is where the drawers are so you guys are probably wondering what the heck this is but this is, well, first of all, it's a lantern, and this actually lights up, but because I'm right by the window right now and it's super bright out, I don't think you guys will be able to tell that it even lights up. Let me see. No, you guys didn't see anything. Maybe if I bring it closer. Okay. <laughs> so anticlimactic, but it lights up, I promise you. Not like the biggest light ever, but it is light. And the idea of this, it's a lantern. So this is to celebrate the Moon Festival, or some people call it the Mid-Autumn Festival. Um, it is a kind of, I think it's, a, it's focused on children, but it's in general like a gathering festival. Um, kids get new toys and stuff like that and it's just very nostalgic because growing up um, my mom used to host these moon festival parties and she would buy um, all the kids lanterns for moon festival and obviously I haven't received a lantern since I don't know like obviously I grew out of it so it's been a while but um, receiving a Fendi lantern oh, so pretty and it's got like Fendi logos everywhere so cool and so um, there was moon, oh sorry, the main part of this, <laughs> sorry, I got so into the lantern. The main part of this lantern, um, of this gift, are mooncakes, which as you can see, I ate them all up. I could not wait. Um, they were like four little mooncakes. Um, I'll pop a picture up of mooncakes in case you guys don't know what they look like, but uh, they were super, super yummy and um, so, so, so grateful and happy to have received this. I absolutely love it. 
So now that I finished the mooncakes, I'm definitely gonna keep this still. It's still it's so stunning. The spins around, it's so cool. And like the crazy thing was, um, they had ordered like a certain quantity, obviously not a huge quantity of these. And I think, was it half or maybe even more than half of them broke? Um, so that was crazy. I was like, oh my God, this is so fragile. Cause yeah, at least half of them broke. So I'm gonna make sure I take good care of this one. So this outfit is definitely really, really colorful. And it was kind of also risky to have all these like Fendi label, um, logos all over it. But really it's more, fo I mean, it's more obvious on the headband, but because the headband's like facing upwards, it's not like super obvious when you're staring straight at me. And then the logos all over the shirt um, was the same color as the shirt itself. So it's not that obvious as well. I felt like there wasn't, it wasn't too overload of Fendi logos. And the only logo on this is the buckle here, which I thought looked really, really cute on top of the pink. Of course, this was not planned because I had just picked this up, but I knew that this purple would be cute with the, um, with the pink top anyway, so I knew it would work when I picked it up. And then the headband, um, I knew would look good with the pink. So that's how that outfit came about. <laughs> Um, and then a pop of red because you know, I didn't have enough color on there. I was like, I need red lipstick <laughs> At least I wore um, white boots white Celine boots for this outfit because obviously I couldn't do another color <laughs> So yeah, I did wear just some simple white Celine boots to um, Finish off the look also makes me look taller because the pants are white and then the, the boots are white or the pants are generally white with like lots of color of course, but um, with the with the with the white boots it again elongated my my legs and now we're down to the last outfit this outfit um i didn't wear during fashion week itself i wore it the day after like the last day of fashion week to a givenchy event and i en ended up liking the outfit so much um, and wanted to take pictures with it that i wore it the next day as well um to dinner and i got my friend to help me take some pictures and i styled it with another mini bag so um this is the bag that I want to style it around. It is the tiny Saint Laurent purse that I got at Bister, and I promised I'd share how I would style this. Um, so here it is. So this is the little mini python purse with the little charm, which I think is so adorable. I absolutely love this. And I decided to go full out gold. So the shorts and the blazer I'm wearing are from Topshop. Um, the shorts are in my normal size, but I bought the blazer in like, I think three sizes up because I want it to be like super oversized on me. Um, I love that set. I've worn it a couple times before. And then underneath, because of the uh, Givenchy event, I decided to just throw on this, uh, um, actually my only Givenchy shirt. Pretty simple. It just has a really cute kind of leopard print collar and it has like some gold accents as well. And I thought that would look really cool underneath the gold suit. The color scheme was perfect um and then of course with the gold little bag and then for the shoes i wore <laughs> sneakers which i rarely wear sneakers but this one is a pair of valentino sneakers that i got years ago and i think this is like maybe my third time wearing them so they are still in quite a um, mint condition considering the color but i absolutely love it and of course i accessorize with my uh DJ Hadid and Vogue collaboration sunglasses because they're like this um, yellow metallic yellowy color and then um, a pair of gold uh, Louis Vuitton hoop earrings to finish off the look. Overall, I absolutely love this outfit. I just love all the gold. I just felt really, really cool. Um, my friend Kyle was like, you look like a boss today. I'm like, I feel like a boss. Yeah, I don't know. It looks, I just feel cool. So love that outfit. When I was Filling up this bag, or not, I keep calling these bags, and I feel like I can hardly call them that because they're so they're too small. They're like wallet on chains or something, like not even wallet coin purses on chains or something. But this actually fit a little more than I thought it would because it does give some stretch and give. If that makes sense. So you can when you like close it, there is if you have, a, if you have something a little bit more bulky, it will still kind of fit in there. So I was able to fit um, my keys, obviously, um, my earphones, my cards. And um, I actually fit like four candies in here as well. So yeah, I fit my essentials. <laughs> Sorry for the sun, it's like, okay, the sun is like really bright right now. But those are all the outfits that I wore uh, this time around for London Fashion Week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of hearing me ramble and chat to you guys about how I planned my outfits. Um, 
I thought it'd be interesting just because I style it all with mini bags. Actually, I wish I could tell you like which one is my mini, my, my favorite mini bag or like which one I would recommend. Honestly, this one is like a little bit like unfair because it's like obviously the biggest mini bag. Um, so this one obviously for practicality and for space, obviously this is like the best mini bag. But like I said, again, it's not something that's in the market at the moment unless you look secondhand or pre-loved. So um, there's that one. But I guess like these ones are a little bit more fair right like this is like similar size i would say this is much more trendy so if you guys want a trendy bag also a billion times more cheaper not a billion but much much more cheaper than the chanel bag oh i have to put it up here because it's too bright this one does fit more and this is definitely much more classic however this is a lot 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 more expensive than the jacquemus one but i would still save the pennies to get this one this is even though this is called a trendy um it's definitely not a trendy bag i think this is much more timeless whereas this is much more trendy however because it's so 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 affordable if you guys do have disposable income definitely go for it because i think it's so cute and it's been sold out for for a while now so definitely grab it when you can um and definitely do it in a fun color promise me you'll do it in a fun color okay because for bags like this, you definitely for like and the price of these, definitely go with a fun color. These two, however, it's more tricky, especially because the Saint Laurent one I got at Bistro Village for an insane discount. I think I got it for under two hundred. So, um, with that price point, obviously this one is the way to go. Um, this one looks more timeless because of the gold python and the little chain, but because this one is. A really really classic style to baguette on top of that for me the story behind this with the sex and city this is like what makes this bag worth it for me so this one's tough I, I I'm useless when it comes to these two but then again this one does not fit as much as this one but you can't fit much more into this one either so honestly I always say this just just get what you like whatever makes you happy whatever brings butterflies in your tummy like honestly just get whatever you like Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Also, let me know if you guys have any tag videos that you guys um, would like me to do because I feel like doing a tag video. I haven't done some. I haven't done one in a while. Um, or even a tag video with a friend or something. I don't mind. I can drag one of my friends along or like a luxury bag kind of tag video. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any suggestions and besides that um, hit the subscribe button if you guys haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!